Devin Teens yes. as well. And, uh, of course, David Wong, a proud rugby league man of long standing as well. We're very pleased to have you here. Is the, one of the young guns of the refereeing scene is uh, in control out there, and we have him mic'd up this time around. Some apologies to you in our previous games. While well, the referee was talking, we were unsure of what was being said because we didn't have access yep. to their conversations. But the referee's mic'd up here for this game, and we're very pleased to be part of the team bringing you the live streaming action from finals day. Dale Husband here with Rusty Matua sideline with young Lewin, husband as well. And so very pleased to be able to bring you this action. It's uh, by no means something that's been uh, the way in years past. We'll get you the uh, referee's name as well, if we can, because he's uh, one of the young guns. I went to a referee's association meeting and met this young fella. He's only 16. Fit as the trout, and uh, big things ahead for him. We are told it will be Bay Rostal who will be defending the on you, mate, on you. eastern end of Mount Smart Stadium as we broadcast from the northern touch lines. It's the last of our games. It is the under 16 17 restricted grade final, back, and uh, the ball has been knocked back early on by the Mount Albert Lions. Good. Great to have you along here live streaming. If you're watching in Auckland, welcome. If you're watching offshore, just remember the land cries out for your return. And don't forget, we love bringing local footy uh, to the world via the internet. And we've got some very, very enthusiastic defense early on. Rusty Matua. Yeah, grassroots rugby league made it its finest. Seen some wonderful displays from junior football throughout the Auckland Rugby League today. The uh, trophies being shared around the clubs today with uh, victories to Hibiscus Coast and uh, Manurewa in the previous match, Glenora this morning, and Marist as well. So, uh, looking to add another name to that list, it will be yeah, Mount yeah, Albert yeah, or yeah. Bear Roskill to be the victors you. today in the grand final. Boys, don't push after the tackle, it's and the under 16s and 17s restricted. The push after the tackle, thank you. Uh, Rusty and it'll be Bay Rostel with the ball. Good to see Jerry Seal uh, involved here them, at boys, this level as well. Yeah, Jerry's had a big uh, involvement with our juniors, especially with the Warriors over the most recent years as well. Oh, hold up, a lot boys, of work with up, the 20s and our development squad with the Warriors ready, as well. Well, the Bay Rostel club has certainly awesome generated a, a lot of really good uh, uh, junior Go. footy players. Across the field we come, and it's through the hands of Zion. Tanyalu might run themselves out of room this side. Mamiya has the ball, steps back on the inside, and Lawrence is wrapped up on the 20-metre line. Looking back over today's action, 8-6 winners in the under-15 opens. That's the All-Stars against the Sharks. Prior to that, we had the under-14-15 restricted grade. A victory there for the Raiders over the Hornets by 40, 42 points to 10. And Let's earlier on today, if you've just joined us here, as the Bay Roscoe team pepper the line, it was the 28-26 winners, Marist Saints in the under-13s under against the Jaguars, and in the 14s, 22-14 Glenora winners over Manu Dewa. At the moment, Five, though, we have down. the Bay Roscoe Vikings looking to score first. And it's an attempted grubber kick into the end goal. Was it played at? Six there, boys, not played at. Hand over off not. Hold, hold there. And, uh, two markers, two hold teams for me. We'll now see the Mount Albert squad with the ball. Of course, they too have promoted some wonderful junior talent over the years as well, Rusty. Off yeah, they've had a big year this year with their juniors. Move. And uh, this year is the inaugural year for the um, for the girls' grade as well with uh, introduction of under-15s and under-17s. And uh, big change. congratulations to uh, Bay Roskill. They've uh, oh. Made the grand final in both the under 15s and in the under 17s. So uh, a, a big, um, a big achievement to, uh, for the uh, for the Vikings. Well, I think they've got a very strong record, haven't they, Bay Roskill the with the women's Go rugby through. league? Yeah, they're past uh, champions as well. When uh, they had the likes of Nicole Preslin and them playing for them back in the in the late 90s oh. and the early 2000s. When Rachel, the, Rachel White, oh. Rachel White was Names another one. Yeah. They had quite a few Kiwis actually. In those times, oh, but back in those days, mother, they were, were you know not very good at all. But now they've come oh. good, haven't they, Rusty? They sure have. Papa Kula, mate, all the Southside ladies are going strong. Here's the kick. Two proud clubs 
going at it today. Great chase as well from Mount Albert. Sideline is Lewin, husband. Uh, your thoughts here as these two teams go banging away at each other inside the 30. Lewin? It's just been a day of, release 13, of, of rugby release. league at its first. I'm so proud to be a part of this opportunity to profile and showcase our junior football stars, our NRL stars of tomorrow. Um, just seeing the Bay management uh, here as well. They've got the likes of Ben Henry and, and Jerry Susu uh, facilitating their uh, team here. So. Um, there's plenty to like about the junior footy and and all the footy that's happening with ARL and the streaming opportunities in the weeks to come. Centrefield, thank you. Centrefield play now. Bay Rossell with it. Dummy half for Vogel. He darts forward a couple of metres. It's collared by the defenders in 17. David Nathan Wong. He'll be a very busy player. Is Slightly built, but uh, you can be sure he's got plenty of pace chipping in and what proves to be uh, not as effective as it could have been, but mainly through the good work of Hayden McLeod Grump, who's at, uh, at the back. That's fine. Yeah, a slightly dip, deeper kick with a bit more height would have been a bit better there, uh, Dale. That's two, boys. Well, the, uh, the split, the kick split them, but uh, to his credit, the fullback was in there and read the half volley bounce well to the 40 come the Lions. The Lions through Nathan Cook now. And uh, getting a kick away. And that's a fine kick as well. Angled towards touch. It'll find touch, will it? Oh, it goes end over end and goes touch and goal. Restart on the 20. Bay Russell with the football. Yeah, smart use of the tailwind there. It's uh, very, very close to a 40-20, but uh, just uh, not quite the angle he needed and just ended up going dead. But still in good field, uh, good field position here to start a defensive set. The tap and go. Eight off him now. Hey, Ross Gould. I like that follow-up. You know, that's got some colour in the run, hasn't it, Rusty? It certainly has. Those uh, last two carries have been very, very strong. And earning a penalty as well. Yes. Yeah, nice, uh, nice uh, carries there. Nice go forward from the Bay Roskill Vikings. Gosh, I mean, the 16, 17 restricted. I'm sort of wondering, gosh, they still look quite big for their age. I'm wondering if it's like uh, what the, what the uh, weight is. Is it 80, 85? Turn around, boys. Yeah, you'd have to think it'd be something like that. They're yeah, still pretty close this, uh, to, uh, they're still very athletic looking guys and some size and shape about them. And then Bay Roskill now approaching the 20 metres. Nephi Yongi with it. Nephi is only 22 metres from the try line. First receiver is the nine, Vogel. He'll keep it hot with Tanialu. Nice little interplay here and over the top to the fullback, Jarvis Leo Seve. Release him now! Move! Hold! Now he's just outside the 30 metre line. On the boy goes Mulitalo. Wrapped up in the tackle there of Cook. Vogel. Three's the count, boys. Fulong. Inside of the big eight, Leo Seve. That's his brother playing at fullback. Keeping it alive through Henry, Daniel Henry. I'm assuming related to Ben as well. As far as went through the, although I suppose the Henry names, uh, a big name around the Pacifica as well. It's been a good year for the club, Bay Roskill. At the top of the table of the Shaman Cup or thereabouts. Uh, picking up the footy is Nathan Cook. He's only eight metres from his own line. Slow to retreat the Lions forwards. Leo Seve, again, now. putting on some of the good defensive work needed. So boys. Cook comes down the left corridor. Release good defensive down. effort here for Ronald Wahl, who's in three for Go. the uh, Vikings. Four is Dylan Tanner. Release the ball, Tim. Just check that. Go. It's three. Dylan Tanner is, uh, is right. Move. Between the 40 and 50, and Mount Albert go, working to the back go. end of the set. Here it comes to Nathan Wong. He'll kick it towards touch. He's got a good kicking game. That's smart. Smart work. And yeah. uh, Roskill, Bay Roskill, scrum get the scrum boys. feed. Of course, these uh, young players from the Vikings. After the 
merging 30 odd years, maybe 40, close to two years ago of the Blockhouse Bay and Mount Roskill clubs. Oh, well, there is uh, Ben Henry too. I was assuming they must be related and you'd have to think so. Well, that's a fantabulous run, wasn't it? Superb from the back rower, Daniel Ooh. Henry. Yeah, referee onto that shoulder barge there, no arms. Captain Bro, Danny. Oh, sorry, bro. He didn't use his arms. Get him over here, please. Yeah, Ben Henry there working the water. Yeah, 16 for Mount Albert there. Yep. Richard Mann. You gotta use your arms in the second. No, 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 no. You gotta use your arms. Make sure you use your arms. So he gets the, uh, arms, the stare down from the young gun referee, Quinton Davis, as the skipper here for Mount Albert. And we see some of the Bay Roswell players warming up. They kick into touch off the boot of Mika Harris. So Bay Roswell with the ball and Ronald Wilde gives it on to Christian Tate. And the second row of carts forward, 15 metres from the try line. Acting half as Wall. He'll get it across to Vogel. A little bit of a darting run from here, pegged by Quinton Davis, who will put him to ground. Here, 10 from the line. Left side work, and it's Mamiya. Hot potato on the far side, cut out ball. Ambitious. Are they up to it here, the Bay Roscoe Vikings? Muscled under the tackle of Nathan Wong on the far side, but some solid support from Simon Murgatroyd as well. Is Harris uh, again one out running and Murgatroyd again defends strongly. Eight metres from the line. Runners in the angle, the drop off on the inside was good. And Zion Tanielu makes the Mount Albert defenders pay. And he is in to score the first try of the afternoon. Yeah, quality of the run onto the ball there was outstanding. Timed his run perfectly and hit the advantage line at real, with real pace. Just a half a gap was all he needed there, you know, going at such a good speed. And simple play, really, just a nice little A or inside ball. And the defenders there just guilty of not pushing up. And even though he made the tackle, Taniello was strong enough to carry him over. And finish it off there. Uh, Mount Albert tackler going for the legs when um, his only option in that particular uh, circumstance was to take the ball. But congratulations to Bay Roscoe there. A well deserved four pointers open the scoring in this. Uh, grand final today. Some really good lead up play to that try though wasn't there and uh, you got the feeling that their confidence was building down the left edge and uh, the inside ball finding the big prop forward in number 10 coming yeah. through unopposed. They seem to get good numbers around the ball Dale. They're uh, really really um, giving the ball carrier lots of options so the defence um, as a result of that has to cover those options so they they, they tend to have to spread their defence a little bit more and try and cover those options. It's a smart football by Bay Ruskell. But you would imagine with the, with the calibre of coaching staff as with uh, Ben Henry, as you can see him out on the on field with the, with, the tr with the team now, and Jerry Susu, a long-time professional footballer, that they would have a very sound game plan and a sound structure. And we are seeing that at the moment. And the flags are up as well. The number seven with the kicking boots is Troy Furlong at 6-0. Early on here in the grand final is the man we're speaking of, Ben Henry. What a, what a gentleman of the sport Ben is. Of course, we're all aware that he had uh, great skill, technique, and enthusiasm, but sadly, uh, he had injuries that just plagued him throughout his career, and uh, he called it quits after the last of the most frustrating of them. But now, you know, showing you know, just what sort of man he is, he's in helping out this young team, and hopefully some of these young men will have success in their own rights. The ball was pushed backwards, which is nice technique, to ensure that should there be a fault in your technique, uh, that the, the ball has gone backwards. But here is a knock-on. Yeah. Lewin, good to see Ben Henry and, uh, and your old mate Jerry Sears here down there. Boys, all you had to do was play the ball. Scrum here. In the full stride, um, with the sort of history of his injuries, um, sort of decided that it was right to sort of pulls a pin on, on his NRL career, but the fact that he's still continuing to sort, support the game and, and develop our our youth uh, goes to show the, the kindness of, of the man. 
Well, there was a double uh, double mistake, really. Uh, the knock on first from the Lions, but there was a half chance of a half volley scoop too by the Vikings, up by six. And Caleb Farwinger there. Just guilty of having a look at the defence pushing up on him there and dropping a rather easy catch. No doubt he'd be dirty on himself with that one. Heads on, boys. On you, seven. Well, they, they had a chance, didn't they? Good field position here. 13 minutes gone, 6 nils the scoreline. This is the grand final under 16 17 restricted grade. Auckland Rugby League Junior Finals Day for Mount Smart 2. Game number five today. And, uh, Play Ross will have a, a special place in your heart there, there. Dale, as a, as a junior who played for Blockhouse Bay, the old Cougars. The old Cougars, mate. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Well, you can't help but have a soft spot for clubs that you played yes. for as a, as a kid or a junior. And, well, we were involved in working bees and helped to build the foundations for the old club. Run around of the sawdust there for years, but it's about these young men now. This is Penny Mulatalo stepping on the inside. Penny, is he, is he corralled? Eventually he is by the Lions, but he set them alight, didn't he, the Vikings? Now they're in solid field position. This is Christian Tate, and Tate comes charging towards the line. The Lions have to muscle up, and the tackle made by Fauhinga once again. Fogel to dummy half. Oh, here we go. There are numbers, massive numbers to the left. There is some danger for the Lions. The pass is poor, and there's a mistake being made. No, it isn't. The Vikings still have the football. Back on the inside, looking a bit high, really, as the back rower, Quinton Davis, is all over the runner. And the referee rightly recognises that that's poor technique. Yeah, that was well anticipated by um, young Murgatroyd there at right centre, pushing up and making the tackle there. It was uh, certainly a try if he had, if he had missed that tackle. Now Seve oh, takes the ball to within a couple of metres of the line. The Vikings challenging here for the Lions as Vogel tries to slip across. Good oh. line defence. Holding it up. That ball has gone to ground and First that too on, will be boys. a double knock Very on. Awesome. But the Lions Second will get receipt of the football and get the chance to feed. The number 15 had a go. Aisley Brown. But it will be the Lions' scrum, here, scrum feed yeah. 10 metres out from their line. Yeah, pass just didn't quite find his target there. It was a little bit low around the, around the knees and the lower thighs of the of the runner, but uh, no, a nice little set no, play. Yeah, yeah, put on there by Bay Roskill, but um, just didn't quite come off there. Just a slightly bad pass there. Didn't quite make the mark. So the Lions have the ball on the far side. Murgatroyd with it to the 20 or just shy. He'll quickly get to his feet. Nice play the ball from him. Sam Sione has the football, the D as well, from Jaden Vincent on him in jersey number, what was that, 14? Perhaps I uh, got that a little wrong here with the ball. The Vikings through Troy Furlong. And uh, he'll get to his feet on the 20 metre line and they're making a rod for their backs at the moment. The Lions through substandard D. And uh, right in front of the post, they're uh, 12 metres out. Uh, Henry ran as a block runner. The Vikings, uh, they've got a bit going on and uh, keeping their opponents guessing too with their approaches. Penny Mulatalo, who has been impressive. Strong carry. He's had the ball almost managing to force his way across the line. Vogel's first receiver, a couple of... Players in front for the block. This has gone straight into the hands of the back rower, and he is away. The chase is on. You'd have to think that the backs will get older than they do, but Davis runs it for 60 metres and needs a quick play the ball. It's delivered now. Where are the Lions? Have they got some numbers to back this up? Fawinga gets the ball wide right in front of you, Lou, and a chance goes begging. And really, the Lions had a chance they couldn't capitalise on. Hey, Roscoe Ball. Good defense, boys. Good defense. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Heads in. On you, Seven. Out! Here's the scrum feed now, and... 20 metres out, 30 now for Hold. them, for the Vikings. Go. Move now, Chin! 
Just outside the 40, eight short of halfway now for the Vikings. For me, have been the better team at the moment, 18 minutes in. They're up by 6-0, but it could easily have been more Vogel with it, probing. Some good DB and put on him as well. Luke O'Neill is working solid too, the big number eight. Assisted there by Nathan Cook. And so the, uh, the front row, the bookends are really going to be needed to play a strong hand here. And it goes to Ronald Wall. He manages to get away from one, like the way he carries in just the one hand, giving himself some options. The back is Leo Sevier, his brother as well in the front row. Across it comes to Mamiya. And Mamiya almost breaks loose of the Lions' defence. It's the fifth and final. Numbers down the left-hand side if they want to use them. They'll go there. The pass is poor. And so that makes life a bit difficult. Scrambling now with the football. Launched. Half of the players were in front. No one really chased. And Nathan Wong comes away with the ball on the 20-meter line. Easy as pie for the Lions. Yeah, compounded with a penalty there as well. Poor set from uh, Bay Russell. Poor into the set, I should say. They were in good good field position there. But, uh, yeah, they pass from dummy half there out to an um, overlap on the left-hand edge. Just didn't find its target. Went behind their target and put them on the back foot. And then... Um, the rushed kick You'll didn't uh, do much to help out play. either. And uh, so Mount Albert there uh, breathe a sigh of relief as they relieve the so pressure now and come down to the 40 for a tap in good field position coming out of their half. And credit to them as well, Rusty, because they've been under the pump here. They've hung in. They've only hit the one oh, try that they've conceded. And it could have been more, but now they're giving themselves a chance Good. to come back and stick one at the Bay Roskill Vikings. A couple of uh, two teams in a real arm Bay wrestle here at the moment in the final of the restricted 16-17s. As you saw there, as Luke O'Neill went to ground, he has lost the football. And I'm just wondering uh, whether O'Neill shares those same genealogy lines as a man who used to play for Man Albert, the big prop forward. Boys, it's going to be yeah, I'm not sure if he is related, but uh, you wouldn't be surprised. Scrum Seems here, to be quite a lot of uh, Julian up out there. Yeah, Julian O'Neill, who played with the Warriors as well. Yeah, I think that, that, that looks like Julian's son. He's uh, <laughs> got very similar features as well. Well, it's great to see these uh, the fucker Papa lines being represented in the local league. Yes, Fano legacy players. Le yeah, legacy players. Fighting your touches, boys. Carrying it on. Heads on. When you're ready, seven. So the scrum feed here seven. for four long. Out. Taken at the back by Vogel. Worked out there by Mamiya. Poor pass. Kicked through from the Lions. It's still alive, I think. And the bounce important. The Lions will get it through the 12. <laughs> And oh, Connor boys. Weary. So we're going to go back for the knock on. Has possession, but they'll go back for the knock on. Yeah. Boys, knock on first. Sensible the call from the referee there. I think he's uh, no, having no, a good yeah. game so, um, yeah. so far, the it's young whistleblower. You certainly, um, you certainly so know boys, who's in control out sure there, and uh, the guys know where they on, stand. It was accidental offside, but there was no advantage there. I think he lives in the Hobus is close to, and he's telling me he had an injury and has been unable to play. Um, he, he had uh, oh, like, like a growth or some sort of tumour in his on the top of his neck, Rusty. Wow. And uh, and he was advised not to play any more contact sport, oh, but no, isn't it great no. to see him? He's, he's only 16. Oh. And when I say fit as a trap, they did the beat test on him. And uh, he is as fit as any NRL player. Well, there you go. So, uh, so you know, he's a young guy. Could have a big future in the game. And was that a kick through that went bad? Yeah. I was... Uh, Got a good role Boys, model there in uh, Henry Piranara there, one of, our, one of our Kiwi refs in the NRL, the only one. Boys, oh, look, he's going great, right. isn't he? Come so, here, so certainly got someone to um, probably That's mentor right. him as he as he gets a little bit older as well and gets a bit closer Boys, to uh, making that decision of moving across the ditch. Yeah. Don't move. Just get those NRL guys to realise that there Boys, is a New Zealand side. team in the comp, and perhaps it's time that they the looked Boys. across this side of the Tasman for some of their referees. I'm not quite sure you can call Henry a homegrown when referee in talent because really me. he honed his skills up for that when side of the Tasman. You know he's proudly from this side and of course a member Boy, of the famous Natsu so Mutahi Rugby League squad. He played last year too, didn't he? Year before, yeah, and was uh, successful as well, Boy, winning the championship. Raised a few eyebrows uh, playing Māori Rugby League as well and just great to see uh, one of our uh, our uh, exports come home no, no, and, uh, and, and come back to our tournament as well as... Uh, yeah, heads in, boys. And a lot to do for on. the next few years too. The Out. annual October Labour Weekend Michael Festival of Rugby League, the annual Māori Rugby Off League tournament. Legs. We are with Bay oh. Roskill and the Mount oh, Albert Lions. Me, this is the under 16-17 restricted grade grand final of 2017. And with the ball 
off. Mika Harris spun to ground, eight short Short of the halfway. Looking for a way through the middle with a one out run, and it's a pretty solid one too because it attracts four defenders. Is the Go. That's three. talented Mamiya now pushing the ball wide, little pedestrian. It was the, with the oh, conveyancing four. then. Yeah, no one took the line on. They just oh. they were just passing for the sake of it there, and uh, Winger really had no nowhere to go by the time the ball got to him. So was the defence. So there was a poor Release poor attacking him. play on that occasion Five. by the uh, Barrosco Vikings. Christian Wright plays it for Down Vogel side, out the back, looking for the kick. Dan Henry gets that responsibility. Pushes it over to the right-hand side. A little shimmy and a, a, a staggered run. I think it's Sam Suni over that side. Mm. Go. All Was it McLennan that we just uh, pick up on numbers? I'll tell you in a moment. This is a good run. Mm. Talking about legacy players too, Dan. You see young Murgatroyd out there. Oh, you know his dad, no. Ed Murgatroyd. Surely. So he's a bear Oscar man too, isn't he? He was. Indeed. So, so, so interesting That's to see him boys. now fronting up against Dad's club. A bit of humour on about it as well, Move I bet. Down. Hayden McLeod. Yeah, boys. Hold. Hold for me. Rump hold. is his Go. surname Three. as well. Three's the fullback. Ten is Tuilua. Off them sucks. Good thing as well Move. from Ross Mamiya. On the 40. Go. Six Four. nil. Deep into the first half. That by Dylan Tunner. He's away from one. Tunner holds up the pass nicely. The try is scored oh, by Richard oh, Mann. Oh, Great lead up to the try as well. And we have a real game on our hands here in this final. Scored out yeah. wide. And uh, Dylan Tanner showing some good skills. Let's have another look at it, please, Rusty. Yeah, I think Dylan was very unselfish there. I think he easily could have gone for that try himself, but uh, done a beautiful draw pass to put his, uh, his man, his number 16, across for that try there, Richard Mann. And it was nicely finished. And I've got to give credit to Mount Albert as well, because... Barry Oscars had the, had the percentage of ball. They've had the majority of uh, field position and position as well. And they've uh, now just uh, you know, two points adrift here with a conversion to come. And uh, it's a credit to their effort. They've, uh, they've played really well and kept themselves in this game. Richard Mann into score. Like I say, deep into the first half. And now looking to square it up from out wide is Nathan Cook. Yeah. Another, another strong uh, league uh, name there. Uh, the Mans with... Uh, Long history in rugby league in Auckland rugby league there, Dwayne. Dwayne Mann and Don Mann, their father. There's uh, Esau Mann. There's quite a lot of uh, George Mann, Warren Mann. So, yeah, big, big family Main of big players. Main Mann. Main Mann. And don't forget their brother, Bart Mann. <laughs> I won't. Yeah. How, how can I forget? Manager of the Warriors for many years. Who? Bart Mann. Oh, true. <laughs> There's Don Mann, eh? <laughs> Is that what they called him? Bart Mann. Fair enough. Well, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. <laughs> he certainly is there, um, getting the first try for the Mount Albert Lions today. Making it one try apiece. So sorry for this young fella, he's, um, I'll, I'll tell you about it in a moment. We'd better just stay with Nathan Cook, who is poised at the ready. Interesting style, backs it up, slots it, hits it. The left-hand side of the post. I'm just commenting on the forlorn side of the number 15 being taken away by the Ambos for some treatment on the hand. Isley Brown. And uh, Isley Brown got the ball kicked almost unnecessarily. Uh, but uh, I, I don't think there was anything untoward. But the, the uh, way, uh, play had way. broken down. And now hopefully he hasn't got a fractured hand as a result of the kick through. Yeah, it looks like his grand final's done as he's run, boys. leaving the field with the, with the Zambuck. So we're about to get underway again. When you're ready. 6-4 the scoreline. Good little battle on here. Hey, Roskill and the Mount Albert Lions. At the back on the far side of this, Sam Sionet. In Jersey Simon. 5. Good chase from the Vikings. Oh. Sionet only manages to get it Go. back to the 20. And it comes to O'Neill. Eight moves. Slammed to the ground by Joel Leosevi. He's an eight as well. Release the two ten. number eights are having a, a good Four, old go. tussle, Three. as you would expect. Through the middle, slicing oh, run, man. too. Almost pays off for the Lions, or a full of running at the moment. That's Willie uh, Sionitali. Out wide to Tana. Tana's caused some problems. Four. Good defence from Mamiya. We'll play the ball for Cook. 
And yeah, that last try certainly put some spring in the step of the Mount Albert Lions. You better believe it. Was that touched by the Vikings? Didn't touch it, boys. 20 metre restock. Seems Ooh, not. Ooh, that was lucky. Very lucky for the young winger from uh, from Bay Roscoe. Dominic Elliott. He'd be very thankful that didn't touch him. And you would have expected him to catch that. He was in well, good good field position there. Just totally misjudged the, the flight of the ball. It's one of those mine, mine, up ah, yours. <laughs> on you, Tim, on you. It was a bit of a on swirling you, kick. Difficult to take. I like that run. Look at that. That's 15 metres. Yeah, really should nice. have been shut down. Shouldn't have got to the 10. Nice strong leg drive. Go. Very One. good. Vogel. 11. Move. Two. Release. Good, good work here from the Vikings. Three's the count, boys. This is try Stan. Tani Luke. So that's four. They're good. Mamiya launching it, and that's a poor take. In fact, it's a non take. Now. It's a Vikings ball. And Timothy Vogel gets One it across five. for Mamiya. He has it. Trying to make up for his mistake, McLeod Grump. Mamiya. Off and two. Score. Ten out from the line now. Jaden Vincent is in there and wanting to get himself involved. That's him with the ball now. And Vincent with a one-out run. Charges towards the line. He's only eight metres out from the try line. Vogel with it. Tanielu we know is strong from this range. And he almost gets the ball down. He does get across the line. He couldn't get the steed into the grass. Back it comes to the replacement. Vincent, he too is repelled at the last moment. He comes charging towards the Lions defenders. They'll not have a bar of it though. And now... It's back and sideline, cut out ball, numbers on the far side. Vikings got to be a big chance and they're in the corner. Good try to the Vikings on the far side of the field. Good play. I'm picking up that it might be Mika Harris, but that's an assumption. Perhaps you could clarify that for us. Rusty, just that's Mika Harris, Mika Harris here. And he's come from Dominic Elliott. By yeah, the Dominic Elliott, yeah, lucky on the enough there. Side. Any run here, mate. You Very big and strong there, got nice and low, nice and early. First thing that crossed the line was the football. This is what you need your wingers to do, they got to know how to finish, you know, that's their number one job, is finishing, and uh, it's what you expect from your wingers. And when given the opportunity, they need to score those points for the team. Yeah, and they, they also need to have some nous come in and, def and do some work through the middle. You know, this is the modern winger, are we talking sure. about? They need to finish. They need some pace. They need good anticipation. But they also have to be prepared to get in and do some of the grunt uh, at times just to give their big men a breather. It's yeah. a, a rounded set of skills needed to be a, a modern first-class well, winger. Well, you expect to do a lot of the early carries now on the, on Indeed, the kick, yeah. kick, kick returns. You know, and you look at uh, someone like Ken Mamala. This year has been a really good year for Ken. Ken's in the top 10 for, for metres carried in the NRL this year. Mm. You know, and interestingly enough, Tuivasa Sheik's second in the NRL for, for, for metres gained this year behind uh, Gallon. So, um, you know, this is a, a, a very important uh, part of the job uh, for the wingers to get off their wing and get into their dummy half roll and, and look for those uh, early yards, giving the forwards a little bit of a break. So Elliot, successful out wide 10-4 is the scoreline. And also the uh, the truckers call in which the way, convoy song. 10-4, good buddy. 10-4, good buddy. Five, which way? <laughs> Five minutes, boys. Smoky, smoky. I've got a bandit. When you're ready. Four minutes to half time. So the Vikings. Another powerful return to oh, from the kickoff. Yeah, being very good in the middle, the Vulcans. Oh, go, one. Nine's fine. No problem getting out of their red zone. They seem to do it in one oh, or two carries eight. every time. This is go. the restricted grade. Because we know some of the 16, 17 year olds can be absolute giants. Yeah, you know, we'll be starting to see a few of those next week in the in go, the live three. streams uh, coming to coming to air next week from ARL TV. Beautiful little dummy there. And almost created the hole that the Go, six has been very heavily involved, Loris Mamia. 
And I love the cutout ball wide too from Troy Forlong. Been impressed by the halves. This man's had a good first half performance to Mika Harris. We'll come down to you in a moment, Lewin, for your evaluation of the first half. As we see the the kick and the take at the back from Henry. Henry keeps it alive skillfully as well. And there's a turnover of possession. It's a bit of fine performances from both teams who have stood out for you, Lewin. Yeah, I feel that both of these teams are quite evenly matched. Um, the fact that Jerry Sisu and Ben Henry, former NRL NZ Warrior players, um, have sort of assisted the development of, of the Bay Roscoe team this year. I feel that Bay Roscoe is more likely to uh, take the cup for this under-17 restricted final. And the fact that they have wind at their back also in the second half, uh, it's a big support um, while whilst trying to you know close out the game. Thank you, 16 is Richard Mann. He's already scored a try. Off the legs! Well, a good run from him. He actually oh. took quite the whack as he oh, hit the ground the there. I'm pleased that he's, he's got up and good nick. This is uh, Simon Murgatroyd. Puts the kick in deep. 20 metre, boys. Very skillful in taking two. So, when you're ready. Uh, it's not easy to do. The ball is coming down right Can on top boys? of the crossbar. All your boys are in front. But the tap is All taken. Yes. And some uh, some well, lazy retreaters are exposed. So it's a penalty, yeah, Jarvis, uh, Leo Savi, Leo Sevi. Just uh, boys, quite a schoolboy error there penalty. with his um, tap with all his team penalty. in front of him there. Because when I, when I let him go for the tap, but all your boys were in front. So you just gotta it's difficult to, to do as we see the number 13 stepping back, Daniel Henry. Just went up to question the decision. And uh, I'm a little Boy, bit surprised by here? the decision of Mount Albert to go for two points. What would you, what's the thinking here? Do you think? Uh, oh, I, I really don't know. Um, going for the try would was, was was the best option for them here, and yeah, yeah just I just don't really understand why you choose to, to go for two points when you're six points behind. Perhaps the the coaches from rugby. <laughs> Optional, they can well, choose can't think that would be the case. But got, to, got to take the uh, penalty when it's in front. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Well, there's two points, and they can get back to work now. 10-6 uh, is your scoreline here, and a penalty late in the first half. I hope you've been enjoying the action, and some of you, hopefully, have had uh, the games on all day. It's been fantastic to be able to bring you via live stream fine, all of the action from the juniors. Grand final day, Mount Smart number two. At the halftime break here in the under-16, 17 restricted grade final. It's the Vikings who lead the Lions by 10 to 6. We'll take a break and be back with you in a moment for the start of the second half.
Hi there, welcome back to Mount Smart Stadium. Uh, we haven't gone very far, just written had a little bit of a munch while that half time was on. And I hope you've been enjoying the fact that we're able to live stream this Junior Rugby League for you today. Uh, we'll be able to do the same next week as well. So tell your friends. Uh, it's been a very interesting day of Rugby League. And uh, in a way, uh, a celebration of youthful effort you know, it's much easier for young guys to sit at home playing on their PlayStations, isn't it? Tuesday, Thursday asks you to work as a team, to commit yourself to fitness, and uh, if you put it all together, you'll make yourself into a grand final team, and that's what we've witnessed here today. So big ups to all that we've seen today. All the supporters have come out to show their uh, total and support for these squads, and a pleasure to broadcast the grand final day alongside my friend and Long-time colleague, Rusty Matua, and of course uh, oh. a young bloke who doesn't do the dishes much on the sideline, his name's Lewin Husband, but Make I won't talk to you too much about that, he's a good kid, he's a man actually, but it's, uh, it's great to be working Go. with Three. him as well. Thank you for your company and hope you're enjoying some of the action here from Mount Smart number two, with the ball of Mika Harris, and he was exposed and took a shot there from O'Neill too, he sort of That's belly cool, flopped him somewhat. Dominic Elliott scored in the first half. 10 8. Sorry, 10 6. The scoreline at the moment with a, an, an unusual penalty taken late for the two points. That one sits up momentarily, but then 20 boys. springs across the Make dead ball line. So, where's this going to be one in the whistle. second half, Rusty? Yeah, I think in the forward pack of the Bayrosco side, they just seem to be a lot more uh, organised in their forward pack. They have a lot more depth coming onto the ball. When you're ready, nine. Anyone's game, though. Certainly Mount Albert have kept themselves in the hunt. Awesome. Some 13. solid work from Dan Henry. Hold. He looks Go. a lot like Great work, boys. his uh, brother Ben, perhaps a, Release him, perhaps a nephew or something of the like. So two proud Go. clubs going head-to-head -head head here in the final Mark of the up. restricted grade. 25 minute halves. Hold. That's three. You see them with the football. Uh, Lewin, I'll, I'll come to you shortly because I noticed you had your ear in the huddle there at half time. We'll just see how this set Off pans on. out. Move. Hold. Go. Four. Five metres into enemy territory for O'Neill. Hold. And Five. he will. Play it for Nathan Cook. Down the left side they go. This time it's Nathan Wong. Puts the chip over the top angle towards touch and it's allowed to go there too. Out there, boy. Scrum here. Kenny Mulitalo. Scrum mm, here, very, boys. very delicate touch there from young Nathan Wong. Hey, Slowing ball. the game down here and getting his forwards to set a yeah, scrum. I went out, so it's a scrum. And it will be Bay Roskill who feed the scrum. Uh, we'll go sideline with you, Lou, and I noticed you uh, taking an interest in what Jerry Searseal was saying at half time. What sort of uh, boys, commands boys, was he giving his troops? Yeah, it was nice to actually have the opportunity to see what type of coach uh, Jerry Sisu Out. is. Um, he was quite contained with his messages that he was sharing to his troops. He wasn't too peed off, I suppose, with their performance. Um, but he, he mentioned that they need to continue to stick to their systems and processes and they have a, a decent game plan prepped. It's just whether or not the boys could uh, follow through with, with his hopes. Systems and processes, oh. eh? it's a term, it's terminology we hear a lot in rugby league nowadays. You know, I mean, the young blokes get out and throw and the ball around, the have some fun, tackle hard, take the run legs. straight, <laughs> run straight, take the legs, all yeah. of the catch cries of league. Yeah, of, the, of days gone by. Of <laughs> the old style of footy, look at the flick over Ooh. there. Ooh. And the referee on the money. Yeah, it's marginal, but it's uh, certainly courageous. Yeah, they showed a lot of confidence there, the young uh, Bay Roscoe back line there. Flick on as well. It's good to see some of these guys out uh, and about. Yeah. And Henry Jerry Sears yeah. in particular. Good call from the uh, officiating staff there. Touch judge and uh, referee right on the spot. On you, Seven. Man, now deal with the um, ball in good position now. Off 
from Sivan. Muscle to ground, Nick. is Nick to Ilua. Quick play the ball from Nick, though. Out to the right hand side, finds Murgatroyd. He's a big centre, he's away from one, step straight. Move now, and then 13. Move, Daniel. Turned as he was put away. Uh, 20 metres out from the try line. Back it comes again to Tuilua. Passes five. He gets the ball away nicely to Stone uh, sort of Dali. Scoreline. Okay, he's only Move. five metres out from the try line. Is the best chance, perhaps, of the game, really, for the That's Lions. Great. Out it comes to O'Neill. Little staggered That's run back, from nice. him there. But the bounce That's is back kind. Back and the, the pace is on for the charge That's to the now. line. The Vikings equal to the challenge there by the fullback. And now a charging run and a good one, too. Is that the big number eight again? Yeah, I think that um, penalty that they took now is uh, going to be um, very, very handy. It's to give them the lead now with a conversion, very handy to the post. Big O'Neill was the man with the try. He's been one of the best out there throughout the course of nine, the game. Nine. This was a great run, too, from the fullback. Quick play the ball. Thanks, and here he comes, Johnny on the spot, but at pace as well. And the big man yes. is able to barrel himself across. <laughs> Underneath the crossbar, great try, timely as well. And the kick should be successful for a 12-10 well lead for the Lions. Well yes, and as I said, um, Dale, that uh, penalty now is looking rather smart. Very intelligent decision now. Yes, very, very smart. I'm glad we suggested to them that they take it. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, kudos to the Mount Albert Lions there. Some, some great play by them. And... Uh, and where, where, where I expected the Bayros to be strong around the middle, that they, they, they were a bit vulnerable there. Got caught standing on their try line instead of pushing up and uh, forcing their error. They got caught standing on their line and paid the price there with the ultimate price with a four-pointer under the goalpost. Well, you know, sometimes it's just getting a smart start to the second half, isn't it? You've got to refocus and really you disregard the scoreline from that first half. It's uh, about... Uh, keeping to, you know, the, the structures that you've Nothing, no set up across the year. No and that time around, they uh, just allowed the Lions to get in a good field position, the Vikings. And they were able to make the most outside, of it as well. A couple warming up on the side. Levon Kingdom in 17 is getting himself busy down there. Caleb Fa'uinga as well. Uh, we're looking to you, return to the track. 14, Sam Murphy Drever is also getting himself ready. But it's the Vikings who will kick off... Now down by two. Don't let it go, dead, Luke. It's the grand Don't final let it of the 16-17s. Restricted grades. Go, that one is deep. And O'Neill, lucky he was there, the try scorer. Gets the ball and then decides to go barging forward. 20 metres on the return run too. Pretty good effort to him. Or well, from him, I should say, is Cook. He's uh, put away. Interesting combo of names there with Cook, the hooker for one team, and Vogel, the hooker for the other. That's back. 13's Quinton Davis. He has the ball inside enemy territory. Tui Lua amongst the Prophet. He profits nicely. Shaking it out there. Mika Harris has combined and got a one-on-one -on -one strip as well on Sam Sionet. Two in the tackle. Two in the tackle, though, is the suggestion. Harris might dispute that. You get a chance to have a look. Yeah, I think the referee got it right there. Mika Harris in the first instance. When you're ready. And there, see uh, number 12 just touching into the tackle, makes it a two man tackle so that um, that becomes a strip rather than a, a legal. But uh, Mika Harris there, not finding touch with his, uh, with his kick and gifting position back to the Mount Albert Lions. Well, look for him to try and make up for it too. That's him there, the four. Mm. He'll chase everything now. Yeah. Tennis to Lua, he's had a strong input in early in the second half. Play the ball. Leave it. Leave it, Tim. Leave it. Off him now. And good, uh, good advice too, coming from the sideline for the coaching staff as well. They know their emotions run high. Young men, grand final day. It's all or nothing, really. At the back here is Jarvis Lausevet. And uh, a silly uh, second effort there from Murgatroyd. Yeah, no need for it. Don't use your shoulder. Yeah, uh, they had the Bay Roscoe team under pressure there in good field position as well. And just a 
Just a lack of discipline there, giving giving possession back and giving their penalty advantage back to the uh, Bay Roscoe Vikings. A nice kick downfield to take them up to halfway. Daniel, uh, Daniel Henry. Tap and go. That's the way to carry. It had some attitude in it. Let's see if it can be followed up. Another good effort. And immediately to the 30 metre line. A little bit overcast, might get some drizzle soon as well. Could also be a leveller. Some tough D going on here from Quentin Davis. Squeezing, ripping, twisting. And that's on his opposite number, Henry. Little cutout ball on the far side of the field. Some space down the right edge. Here come the Vikings. The inside ball is slick. The finish is fine. And Lawrence Mamia is the recipient of a great inside ball and is able to capitalise with a four-pointer out wide. Great try for the Bay Roscoe Vikings. Yeah, great finish to a great build-up as well. Just the work in the lead-up to that try was wonderful by the uh, right-hand edge there. Let's see, it hit the uh, centre. He gets it back inside to his half. Wonderful work there, Caleb. Um, oh, my apologies there, number six. That was Lawrence Mamea. But uh, lovely work there by um, Zion uh, Tanielu. He's not getting it out to the edge. Putting his, um, putting his centre in some space. Ronald Wall. And then Ronald able to find his man back on the inside in Mamea. Lawrence Mamea is all good halves. Uh, should be doing pushing up and supporting. And able to finishing uh, finishing off that try. His eyes are rolling. Are we calling him Wall? Two W A H L. Yeah, I'm, Wall. Yeah. So I'm wondering if it's Ward. I was reading something there suggesting it might be. So if uh, we're a little off mark. Oh, these are the names we're given. Yeah, and sometimes the um, mm. you know the same name on the on the hair clip as Wall. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, that's because that's he's one. looking pretty sharp there too, Mr. Wall. Yes. Very most sharp. of the, most of these young guys, you know, got pretty uh, pretty. Cool haircuts, of yep. course. Why not? We just uh, got a bit of an injury over there. Lewin, uh, did you see what happened there, uh, mate? And uh, what do you read into it? That's from Shortland Street, so I can't really make a diagnosis, but it looks pretty serious because the uh, ambulance staff from St. John's are coming out to try and assess it. Um, so let's hope it's not too bad because he might be celebrating his grand final. Uh, championship victory, perhaps, in the hospital. Thank you, Lewin. And this Pinitalo, and but he got, he got a, you know, it wasn't an untoward hit. It's just the timing. He yeah. just released the ball. This is footy, but uh, there's there's a, a, a bit of a worry and concern for him. The medics are on. Yeah. Obviously, we we do need to take these circumstances. Seriously, as they are at the moment. Look, it gives us a little bit of an opportunity, if you don't mind, while they are uh, running through what they need to do, to just remind you of uh, the fact that we've got 24 minutes or so to go. Um, and just going through the results so far today, uh, the Raiders and the Hornets were involved in the under-14-15 restricted game. Uh, the Raiders too strong, they're 42-10 winners. The All-Stars and the Sharks played off in the Open 15s division today. And uh, it was an 8-6 win to the All-Stars. It couldn't have been much closer. It could have been 8-6. Yeah, one the try apiece. Um, looking back earlier in the day, the 13s, and it was Glenora lining up against the Saints. It was a really interesting game and a 28-26 result. That went to extra time. And it was actually a victory but one of the young blokes kicking into the wind from the sideline to to get the conversion that won the game. An extra time. Indeed. And, uh, of course, Denora and uh, Manadewa as well um, did battle in the 14th, 22-14, uh, the result there for the West Aucklanders. So a good day of junior football finals and more to come as well. Thanks to those who have joined us in the stands as well through the course of the day. There have been plenty of supporters in there. And uh, understandably, the Lions are wanting to keep themselves at the ready and uh, are warming themselves up. But some concerns here for Penny Mulatalo, who's still down on the ground on the far side of the field. But the, the right hands are there. And uh, 
what we are getting as a result here to of the Mangere East Hawks. This is in Fox Division. A 33-20 winners over Marist. And that coupled with Teatutu's loss to Glenora, 10-6, uh, will see the uh, Hawks and Marist stay up. And uh, sadly for Teatutu, who just went up to the Fox this year, they'll be heading to the Shaman Cup. Well, it's, it's tough, you know, it's tough to get into the Fox, perhaps even tougher to stay there. Absolutely. I feel for uh, for the Tatatu team. I was very pleased for them last year and the grand final taking out the Shaman. And of course, it's a reminder if you step up, you might have to strengthen your squad because uh, it's just a lot tougher at the top side. But um, we certainly yeah, they were they were let down by by um, a good half dozen of their premier players who decided decided in the in the in the early in the year that they were going to go and play for another club. With no fair warning, he sort of lost lost six of his premier players and it sort of left a very big hole in his side. Molitalo, um, uh, thank you. And uh, mm. again, just reflecting on the Fox. As Molitalo gets up, I wonder if he might have done some ribs there. It was uh, an exposed rib cage, and there's nothing untoward in the tackle. But he certainly took uh, some heavy contact. We wish him well. So Teata 2. Uh, back to the Shaman to fight again to get back to the Fox. That's the way it rolls, of course. Bay Roscoe, one of the favourites of the Shaman Cup as well. Otaku, who were there at the top of the table also. Otara. Otara's there, at the top at the moment, Dan Dale. Are they, mate? Otara's on, on top at the moment with Bay Roscoe and uh, Otahu. And Ponsonby rounding up the top four. Well, there we go. It's going to be an intriguing battle there as well. And uh, there we go for another... Uh, try there and of course Otahu there with one of the high Which profile coaches in New Zealand there John Eklund signed for two years and uh, you know, brilliant through the first round of championship they were undefeated but um, sort of uh, had a couple of hiccups in the second round but they've managed to sort of steady the ship and currently in the, um, second equal along with Bay Roskill behind Otara well it's going to be a battle then isn't it I went out and watched the Otahu Bay Roswell game. Bay got up to in uh, Otahu's home ground, so there's certainly no givens. One thing we know, it's very hard to get into the final of the Shaman, to go on with it and then get up into the Fox and, and stay there. So in saying that, hats off to Richmond here. Yeah? And, uh, and also to the North Coast Tigers, who have long been at the foot of the Fox table the last half a dozen seasons. Yes. Uh, but this year have done enough to go mid-table and protect themselves from relegation. Very so. brilliant second round. They won six of eight. Our, our good friend Jeff Morton's doing a wonderful job out there and they're, they're gaining more confidence hold and there, there. more touches, strength in their, in their Premier's team. Our good Ouch. friend uh, Sefo Fuemano was out there as well in the coaching staff. So they've had a, had a very, very good year. Awesome. Congratulations to uh, Mangere East Hawks and, uh, and the Richmond, uh, Richmond uh, Bulldogs. We're staying into the Fox for another year. Got it. Well, here we are now. Awesome, 13! Hold! Go! Three! Awesome. So, uh, with the football now. Go. It's, it's uh, Mount Albert. On the far side, look, they just wanted to charge straight back into the action and give themselves a, a, another shot. That's still five, boys. Six there, boys. So uh, coming up towards Two 40 minutes. When you're ready. And, uh, that's, that score line on screen is, uh, is not uh, accurate, friends. Regard that one for now. Thank you. 16 12 is the way I read it. Hold! 16 12 to the Vikings Go. at Make the sure me, moment. Boys. Here is Henry. Three. And a penalty as well. Yeah, Megatroy just needs to discipline himself there. He's given away a couple of penalties now. Just needs to focus and, and to get his mind back on the game. He tried to... It's a penalty. Penalty because you tried to... Lowing your sideline, we're assuming that... Um, uh, that it's been hit. In fact, he's not on 
Tom's at the moment. So just assuming that um, uh, young Henry, Daniel Henry, is Ben's younger brother. He'd be quite a lot younger though, wouldn't he, Rusty? Hopefully, hopefully. Ben would be, yeah. ben'd be mid to late twenties now, wouldn't he? Yeah, sure. He'd be 28, 29. One of our stars coming th came legs. through the under 20s grade and 10, 10. won the championship with them and was offered uh, by many NRL clubs a contract to go Off over to Aussie. But chose to be a loyal warrior. Go. He's a remarkable character. And look at this run from Vogel. He pops the ball back. It's still alive. The Vikings still have it. Vogel was almost through. He's back into his more familiar role as acting half. Beautiful hands on show and a pass off the ground. What he wasn't held over the top. There's the line. The divers for the line. The Vikings are in on the far side. Carlos Celcio is it oh, on the far side? Daddy's boy. And he is in to score and perhaps take Rather. the championship final here this afternoon will go some way towards it quite a spectacular try really a little bit unstructured but uh, the, what, what they were doing was backing themselves and keeping the ball alive after this great run here by Vogel and he pops it up as he goes to ground here and then they managed to get to their feet they can get a play of the ball and then again it was still still on on the right hand side and they saw that opportunity moving the ball here just uh, yeah just uh, keeping the ball alive here Taniella, they're getting the ball out to young Siu Siu. It's Jaden O'Connor, sorry. Jaden O'Connor, 16. 16. Oh, my apologies. And Carlos is in 15. So there Jayden we go. Jaden O'Connor, there you go. Well done, Jaden, and to the Bay Rock School Vikings. Extending the uh, lead out to 20 points, 20 points to 12. The sideline conversion. He does have the, um, the luxury or the benefit of having a, a tailwind. So if he can get the right line, the wind should, should help him with distance. So the Vikings in the box seat here in the final and the run home to full time. Right out wide, hits it nicely. But uh, it just won't have the accuracy needed. He's slightly offline, just to the right hand, um, to the outside the right Come hand on. upright. Okay. 20 to 12 is the score line here for the Vikings. And Albert needed two tries, yeah, needs to score favorite. twice. Well, you can't do it without the football. So first and foremost, they've got to fight for possession, fight every inch of the way. And uh, for the Vikings, a great opportunity here to finish off the season as they were hoping. I've been very impressed by young Vogel's work, Timothy Vogel. He's very direct, isn't he? Distributor. Short what kick a off. Smart kick off. Smart kick off and a great chase here from the Lions. Good play from them. They've got the ball back. A charge through to the 30 metres and beyond. 27 metres out. Quick play the ball no, needed and Nathan back. Cook has that. They'll have a look down the right edge. Kingdom has it. Down in the dive for the corner is slick. The finish is fine. Sam Sioni is yep. in to score. And the Lions aren't done with yet. Yeah, I'm just like checking my team list here. I'm just wondering if we've got the, the right wingers there. It's Sioni and uh, McLennan. But I don't want to be racist, <laughs> but congratulations yeah, to Mount Albert there scoring on the right wing. Just not sure if that is McLennan or Sione, but either way, it's a Mount Albert line scoring oh, yeah, there and uh, bringing the score up to 16 points to 20. A nice finish and nice finish. Yeah, well, who am I to say as well? I had those thoughts myself, Rusty. Yes. But um, I, um, apologies if we have the, the, uh, the wingers on... Um, other two and the, five, uh, back, yeah, to two front, and five yeah. back to front. Yeah, that's right. But um, nevertheless, there's a great, great um, kickoff there, first of all, by Mount Albert to get the ball back. And then they continue down this right edge and then back themselves to go out to the right winger. And young Sione, or could it be McLennan, who scored, uh, scored a beautiful try in the right hand corner? It's I'll Flynn McLennan right. and Sam Sione, the wingers today for the Lions. And uh, I'm picking with you, but you know. It's hard to tell nowadays. I don't want to be uh, disrespectful, but we will just leave that there hanging for you. <laughs> Nathan Cook, what a kickoff it was too uh, from the Lions. Copybook. Yeah, it looked like it was uh, certainly a rehearsed move there. The, the accuracy was outstanding. The timing was superb. And they pulled it off, uh, pulled it off superbly. 
Well, I'm going to stick to the way that our card was at the start, and we'll have to say that uh, mm. uh, we credit that with Sione. They can um, uh, toss the coin and see who deserves the credit afterwards. Here's Cook. An interesting style. I don't know who he's modelled that one on. He does take a while, doesn't he? There we go. Coming round, coming round. And, uh, and, and Jonathan Thurston. My goodness, Nathan Cook. Gosh, one up, one down, was it? Yeah, it looked like a miss to the left hand upright to me. Here's the restart. Oh, I don't this is so cool. Oh, he's way in front, there, wasn't he? Front. Oh, he was way in front, wasn't he? We're going to call this guy Nathan Cooking up, with boys. gas. No he was so cool there, that conversion from wide out. Yeah. He's uh, certainly made, uh, made for an exciting finish. 18 points to 20. And it's... is there another twist and turn here in the grand final? Bay Rossville Vikings, nine. 20. The Mount Albert Lions, 18. A little bit of time to go. No, O'Neill no. has been superb. He'll take oh, it to the 30 metre line. Anyone's game Mason. here. There's Flynn McLennan. That's three, boy. <laughs> it could be Sam still there. Move nine. We'll leave that one up in the air. You can make your own call at home. Go. Big ups to both. Ten's been good. Tui Lua. He's muscled oh, to ground on the tackle of Jaden Vincent. Here's the kick, deep from the cloud grump. Splits them at the back, the bounce important, fortunately for the Vikings. Off the leg! They've got hold of the ball. Ten out from their line, slow to retreat though the forwards. So they're uh, heaving a little bit at the moment. Nice little run, two down the right hand side. How good's this guy be today? Off him! I'm picking that's Tanielu. Zion Tanielu, he's been outstanding down there, right edge. Fabulous, and that's a shunt. Oh! Lost yeah. the headgear. Knocked the headgear off, eh? Holy dolly. Knock on. And a knock on mm. as well. Knock on the rusty boys. Up goes the hands of Connor Wherry. And I tell you what, anyone who runs into him is going to be wary because he got whacked that time around. Come here, boys. He sure did. I don't know. It's unfortunate for uh, Bear Roskill here. A little loose play of the ball. Let's look at that uh, contact again. Kind of weary was assisted seven. there by Sam Murphy Driver. But it's the Lions who have possession know, and mate. some skill out wide. This man's had a terrific second half. And he's put away. And he hit the ground hard. There was nothing untoward in the tackle. I didn't think anyway. Dominic Elliott put the tackle on. But uh, Nick Tui Lua. Dusty. Captain and one, please. I don't need you. Boys, I don't need you talking to my touchy. Leave my touchy alone. That one. I don't know what that was all about, Taniola. Connor, Connor. So you put it on? No. Nah. Connor. One. one. And I hold well, it. Leave it the ground leave hard. Leave, leave your touches alone. Leave the touches, boys. Please leave the touches. Oh, yeah. Um, that, that was, that was, that was okay. There was nothing wrong with that. He was over here for sure. Come on. Okay, hold up. So we'll have a look at the replay. A look at the defensive effort here. Yeah, this is Taniola, and then the five gets hold of him. The five's got him. The five flings him. Roll there, boys. Hold there. Two markers. No penalty. There's I think he stayed down. Yeah. Hold for me. Hold for me, boys. Don't like that. Nothing untoward there. And play regimes. Good call, referee. Twenty to eighteen, counting it down to full time. With it is the eleven, so the Dali, and he'll play it on the twenty meter line. That'll be half work for Nathan Cook. What an exciting conclusion to our finals day here. Here he is. Five coming boys. And, uh, a moment ago, he looked like he was out cold, but he's up again and running hot. Little dummy here from David Nathan Wong. Chance here for the Lions. Big, big chance for them over the line, but they couldn't get the ball down. Hold up, boys. That's, it was five. It's a handover. Handover. Good read. And the fifth and final tackle. Rusty, how oh my close gosh. was that? Handover, Bay boys. Roscoe hang on by the skin of their teeth hold there. Hold, 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 Just hold, managing hold, to hold up hold. the attacker over the try line. 
And so as the as the clock ticks down here, they defend a very narrow lead against the Mount Albert Lions who have come home with a wet sail, Dale. 20 to 18. And oh, not much time left. You'd have to think a couple of minutes. As we see the Bay Roscoe Vikings now recognizing the threat, chanting into their work, as is O'Neill oh, and O'Neill combining here with That's Taviola. Fine. Both of them getting two. involved. 17 is 11 Kingdom. The loft line and intercept is still lost. And it's the Vikings who get hold of the ball. Play on, says the referee. And the Vikings have it. 32 from their own line. Some muscle work coming in from uh, Sione. Here is the run from the Vikings. No, 17. Well, Really entertaining back end of the no, half, no. Lewin. Your, your thoughts as we head towards full time. Yeah, well, Go. I think your Two. clock's a little bit off um, in comparison to the game clock. Just briefly being there awesome. and to see how much time is actually left, and there's Go, over three. 10 minutes to Go, boys. so uh, there's still plenty three. of time for both teams to to stamp their uh, stamp their mark on 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 this final. I'll confirm well, with you the next time I speak of how how much exactly. Uh, one time is, is left to go. One offside. Yeah. One offside, boys. So one offside here now, and it'll one be a penalty. No, 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 no. It'll be a penalty here. One offside. Offside. Okay. You can hear in the background. The kick to touch on the far side of the field. Daniel. Daniel. One was offside off the kick, mate. So with the football now, the Mount Albert Lions on the far side. Dylan Tanner. Release him! Oh, go. That's three there, boys. Here's O'Neill. What solid D Move put on Daniel. there by Daniel Henry. Superb defensive go. display. That's four. Technique out of the top draw in that defensive effort. Little pop pass from the Lions. And Release now they're inside him. the 30 metres. Well, a nail-biting finish. We see Be the number back. one trying to awesome. create some magic through the middle. Bay Ross will survive. And they'll have the ball from the 20-metre line. That's one there, boys. Yeah, off of nine. 35 Go. out from their own line, Bay That's Roscoe. Two. Find me, boys! Spinning Help! effort. Here by the number 13, Daniel Henry. Find the line, find the line. Score line, 20 points to 18. It's tied as Mika Harris comes into the mix. Towards Go, halfway four. come the Vikings. Joel Leo Save with the football and he keeps oh, the leg drive going, five. gets himself an extra few metres. Down the right side, they come, the skinny side of the field. The left foot kick is high, it's challenging, and at the back, oh, McLeod no! Crump is taking the ball with great skill, Go. under immense pressure. And the Bay Roswell Vikings no! chasers have been very good, and once again, Tamiello is a standout Go. performer in that regard. Here he goes again, been very impressed with Hayden's work too. Oh, no! And his willingness to get involved with the hard earth stuff. Go. With real talent. And so it's anyone's game here. Still just two points in it. Never back to 10. That's understandable too. The referee boys, made a there, good call. There. Number 8 and 11, make sure you find me. Hold there. Hold for me. I don't know, bro. A bit of a coach killer, that one there, when you're just getting boys, so late in the tackle count and you give away a penalty, a piggyback. This just uh, rips, rips just a bit. So Mount Final Albert 20, coming home. Coming home strong here. Nathan Cook has the ball. Finds the back rower. Quinton Davis. Move now. He has an inspiring run with it. Gets the ball played quickly. Out the back, Sean Itali now turns it on to Luke O'Neill. 
He is 15 metres from the try line, even less than that. Down the short side come the Lions. Hot stepping is Nathan Wong. On the far side and towards the line go the Lions. Repelled at the last moment. Sam Murphy, Dreva, couldn't get across the line as the defenders from the Vikings came through to make the tackle. And this is injured Lawrence Mamiya. Nothing was wrong with that, boys. Nothing was wrong. Nothing wrong with that, as you can hear the referee in the background. Take your time, mate. You've got as much time as you need. And, uh, Lawrence Mamiya says you're okay. Got a cramp here at the moment. Boys, I mean, when I say just get back, just come back to me. He's had a is? good game, the referee, and looking forward to seeing a bit more of him. No, he's very good. It's very, very yep. clear. Sweet as. Yep. Concise with his calls. I just watch it from both ways. Yeah. yeah. It's a good player. I can see some of your boys. And, um, some of your boys are using some of your boys are using palms yeah. and they're using elbows. But I can watch it. I watch yeah. it. Rift at the women's nationals this year too, Dale. He tends to get respect from his peers. Four. Even though he's the same Four. age as these guys. Yeah. They recognise that uh, he's done a lot of training to get himself into this position. There's another uh, Bay Roscoe Viking off the side of the field there. There's replacement Ready? coming on. An important uh, player in this in the context of the game is Mamir and his loss may be heavily felt. Here's uh, some good stepping two from David Nathan Wong. He'll weave his magic. He'll deliver the ball out wide. Here he comes again. Is it McLennan? Is it Tione? What we know is he's a lion he's and he's in the score. Down. Well, we'll call him... Flynn Sione, how does that sound? And we'll cover <laughs> our bases that way. Yeah, but Clint and Sione. Well done, young man. I'd say it's Flynn McLennan now that you've drawn my attention to that, but there's the pass. And again, Nathan Wong shows some great foresight to get it wide. And that is a wonderful conclusion here for the Lions. The last one was credited to Sione, so this one will be likewise. We'll have to look at um, you now this uh, Mount Albert side here. You got to give them credit. You know they've uh, come up against the, their more fancied opponents, stayed in touch throughout the match. You know, even though at the beginning there it looked like uh, Bay Roscoe was the stronger team. Thank you. And Mount Albert have continued to battle their way throughout this match, and Go, mate. even when they were behind with uh, with uh, by eight points, they they rallied back again. And now here they are taking the lead at 22-20 with a kick to come. Well, we know that Nathan Cook can do this job from here. Might be kind enough, Lewin, to check with that young fella and see which, uh, which name he is. He's either a Sione or a McLennan. I think it's probably the latter. He's scored the last two tries anyway. And here's Nathan Cook. He slotted it from this position last time. Can he do it again? And the ball Boys, is... Boys, get one of your players to hold it if you need. Is, uh, is off. One of the players on the field. 22 points to 20 is the way it reads at the moment. And, uh, yeah, the ball boy's in there, and he's been asked to provide a, a little bit of help. Golden touch. Let's see the way the cookie crumbles. 22 out. Nathan Cook was good last time. Can he do it again? Won't go around as much this time around, but he's certainly got the old bendability skill. Yeah, I, I thought he was. Uh, I thought he put that up perfectly, but the wind didn't do nothing there. <laughs> what a conclusion to our day of finals here today. <coughs> a solid yeah. performance, 22 to 20 now, but the boys, shoe boys, is on boys. the other no foot, penalties. and it's the Lions no who penalties, lead. Boys. Yeah, but it's just got to give uh, full credit to the Man Albert Lions. They've just uh, continued to keep themselves in this game and, uh, and now to take the take the lead by two points. You know, wonderful display from the Man Albert Lions, the uh, the underdog on today's uh, card. Slipping there, Sunitali. Uh, young Willie to his feet Go. now, 15 metres from his own line. They just need to settle themselves and play, uh, play good structured football. Be conscious Go. of ball two. retention. Get to the back end of their set. Get a decent kick downfield. We'll go a long way towards picking up the prize here Play today. This is the final of the 16-17s. Restricted. Auckland Junior Rugby League Finals Day. Awesome! Move! And uh, 45 metres from their own line. That's four! Young players, Nathan Wong, skillfully.
delivered up here. Some running on the far side, some numbers, holding, holding, pass. Forward, good oh, read was, from the referee. It, it was, was, wasn't it? It, it was, was a forward, forward pass. It's okay, it's okay, get off. So he held it up, held it up. No, no, it was forward, it was forward. It just it was, was too long. The pass was forward. Yeah, they can argue the toss Boys, all they want. Like. The referee made a, a clear and concise call. Here, boys. That's good, but this pass here forward. just forward. Hard to tell off that angle. Yeah. The referee was well positioned to make the call. In the touchy. No time yeah. off in They're right in line with their pass now. It's definitely at least half a metre forward. forward. Boys, there's going to be a scrum here. Just get up. Let's go, boys. Scrum here. Thought he would have been better try to corner flag it there and bring his winger back there, inside, right Dale. Thank you, boys. Draw that defender across yeah, and put the winger back inside. Oh, well, you can sometimes uh, get a bit panicky when you're out in the open. Hold yeah. there, Seven. Hold there. Heads in. <laughs> and, and easy to be wise sitting up in the commentary oh, position. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Exactly, this. yeah. When you're ready. Out. a good day of rugby league. It certainly is. Off him now. So 15 metres from the line. Bay Rostral. Look a bit sluggish. Look a, a little disorganised. You're going to have to pull something out of the hat now. If they're going to come away with the win. Mika Harris. Been involved in some good work through the course of the game, oh God, but God. now this is where it all counts. Yeah, we're inside the last five minutes by my watch Whoa. now, aren't Dale? 22 to 20. It has been a seesawing scoreline as well. They split them at the back. The chasers are on here. Really. Eating up the meters as well on the chase. But getting away nicely too is the fullback. He's had a good game today, but impressed too by Hayden McLeod Grump. Oh, for Very good. Nine to move. We play the ball for the Lions. Whoever gets the spoils here at the end of the game will have deserved it. This Brandy time around is Dylan Tanner on the far side. He's midway 30 40. Oh, for Cut home. down. Everyone's Go. throwing Best themselves three. into the work, leaving nothing to chance. David Nathan Wong. That's four. On Tunner on the far side. Tackle number four for him. Plenty of room here. Nathan Wong pushes it across field. It's a high tackle, I think. No language, please, bro. You can't. Touchy. Touchy yeah. wants to come in. Yeah. I can hear language from them giving me shit the whole yeah. time. Thanks, mate. Keep your back chat on, boys. Yeah. Boys, this could be crucial. Like eight, minutes. eight minutes, referee's just called eight minutes. No back chat, boys. Eight minutes to play. Plenty of time, eight minutes. Only two points in it. Oh, it's an eternity when you're defending the two-point lead. Oh, sure. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> is. It's, it very quickly disappears when you're behind by two points. Yeah. Sorry, so these oh, two teams are having a hell of a go out here today. It's been good no, fun to watch. Boys, pause it to the back, Henry. Can he lead? The back rower leading from the front. Look at that oh, run. No. Well, that should have the spirit of his teammates. Quick play oh, the ball two. delivered up. Here's the big number eight, or seven. Yeah, they sort of went away from their from their um, their game in the middle where I thought they were quite oh, dominant, you know. You get that get that Boys, um, get platform side. set in the middle go first, three. and then then go to the edges. Christian Tate is back there. He's oh. taking on the tackle of Cook inside the twenty now. Great chance go. for Bay Russell. Vogel Vogel's away from one. Make that two. Vogel's still going. Oh, Vogel five. is five. He's short. He's well, short. Oh. sandwiched. I suppose we've been saving that up, but I we had to use it at some stage. Here we go, and he was. And there's the offload out wide. The try is scored in the corner. The 17 is in. And the Bay Roscoe Vikings. It's exciting Get a stuff. try late. The number 17 is Etara Savia. And have they done enough? Well, we've seen the twists and turns already, and more can happen here this afternoon. Oh, exactly. You can't take anything for granted. But as we look at the uh, replay here, it's great work by Bay Roscoe here. The work here from the winger getting it out to his number 17 to score that winning try there. 
Venga, Latita Savia. Latita Savia. Scoring in the left hand corner to take Bay Roscoe back into the lead 24 22 with a conversion to come. 24 to 22. Could be some <laughs> premature hugs going on too. I think you better be careful on that. 24-22 yeah, well, is the way we read it at the moment. The scoreboard here at the ground is, uh, going, well, it's, it's Puckadoo. It's wrecked. It's gone skis. It's all over the place. Yeah, so uh, no doubt they'll be uh, getting that, that sorted uh, during this week. Some big uh, big finals coming up, and it's uh, very important to know where, where you are in the, in the match. Certainly it is as a player to know what you're dealing with. Um, I suppose as a commentator too, it's best for us to know. So. Oh, it's very helpful when we actually got um, got the right time and passing on correct information to our <laughs> viewers. <laughs> oh, well, you know, many of these teams not used to being on, uh, on or having coverage of this type, so they can change jerseys late or not think it's so important to have the listings completely accurate. Here we go. Steady, steady. Hitting it. Hey, that's looking Looks pretty good. good. That's looking pretty good. He's got it. And up goes the flags as well. Bay Roskill slowing two. Troy Forlong from out wide. Make that 26 22. Seen some impressive sideline conversions today, Dale, from the, from the youngsters. Absolutely. Lewin, what a, uh, a finish to the game we've got in front of us. That's right. I mean, tip for tap, both sides getting one back at each other. Who knows how it's going to end up, but. Certainly there's a lot of excitement down here at Mount Smart number two. We've been so privileged to be able to it's share fun. some beautiful images and profile our, our great game. Oh. Thank you to our, our crew and obviously the ARL for, for providing us an opportunity to do so. But these two clubs have left everything out there on the field oh, this sorry. afternoon. Either side deserves to take away the trophy. But at this stage you've got Bay Roscoe up ahead and the worst enemy is the clock. So I'd, I'd be really pleased with how how both squads have been going. That's three. 26 22, the score line, and Bay Roscoe with it. They'd be wise to get to the back oh. end again. Simple formula, isn't it, Rusty? Oh. They know what they need to Go do. It's four. just a matter of affecting it as they hold up slightly. And then Daniel Henry finds himself in some space. Look at him in full flight, getting the ball away to one of the best on ground. Here's Vogel again. He's been awesome. Here he comes back again. Taniola, what a finish. A double banger. And the 17 is in yet again. Savia icing on the cake for this Bay Russell Vikings team. The Lions think they're done and dusted. But the team deserves to celebrate. That was the try of the day. Certainly and the was. Vikings with a really fine effort to get their four points. Yeah, made by the start. Break by Daniel. Uh, straight up the middle. And who's the man back on the middle? Zion Tanielu. Gets the pass. Doubles back around. Picks it back up. Flicks it on. And there it is. The last try of the match. The last word in the under-16-17 restricted grand final. Congratulations, Barry Oscar. Absolutely, congratulations, Jerry Sirsu, the coach of this Bay Roscoe team. And here is Savia, the cherry on the top of what's been a solid effort, although they didn't have it all their own way. There's no doubt about that. We're just waiting for the conversion attempt. And it looks like the number seven is going to give the number 10 a shot and uh, a chance to put his name on the record book. So stepping up to finish us off is Zion Taniulu. And he has had a barnstorming game here this afternoon. Uh, P.O.D. Definitely in my books. Terrific. And the dejection that you see uh, from the Mount Albert Lions is, uh, is uh, the corresponding elation from the victors. is just, again, a reminder of the uh, football that we've enjoyed here this afternoon. Not one of the best kicks of the afternoon, but enough for the Bay Roscoe Vikings to celebrate today. They are the 2017 under 16, 17 restricted champions with a 30 to 22 win over the Mount Albert Lions. And here they come into the huddle. Great to see and uh, congratulations to the referee. I thought he had a fine game too. He's played in good spirit the game. Very easy for young guys to get a little bit hot uh, hot under the collar. But uh, for the most part, things played in a very sportsmanlike way. And uh, we certainly enjoyed bringing you the action from Mount Smart Stadium number two. Here are the victors. 
for 2017 in this division. It's the Bay Rock School Vikings. And congratulations to Jerry Siosiu and the squad uh, as well. We'll hear some chat, no doubt, from their captain. Both teams in huddles. And congratulations to all finalists today. It's been quite a day of finals, Rusty Matua. Oh, it's been ex ex uh, exciting football to watch today. There's been some wonderful displays of skill on, on show today. And I think overall just uh, ex totally ecstatic with the fact that New Zealand, uh, Auckland Rugby League rather, is uh, choosing to televise our juniors and giving them airtime. It's just wonderful for them to have this type of exposure. Absolutely, yes. And there we are. We're just uh, awaiting the chance to hear from uh, Daniel Henry, what a try that was, the last try, but he's been outstanding today. As we see these young men congratulating each other, they, uh, they work hard, the camaraderie that exists, lifelong friendships, and that really is the hallmark of team sport. As we uh, go sideline and uh, Lewin has the skipper of the successful Bay Roscoe Vikings squad. Thank you, Dale. Thank you, Rusty. Beside me, I have the under-17 restricted grade champion, Dan Henry, what was it like out there, mate? Just a great experience to play out there with your boys, to come back from a season two years ago when we came here lost, and just to do that and win here on these grounds again, it's just it's a great feeling. It's real nice. Effort, real hard effort from it's, boys. it's nice to have uh, some renowned footballers as coach and as mentors and as role models for our young men, uh, similar like yourself. What's it been like having your older brother as an influence and of course Jerry, Big Jerry? Yeah, they've been real helpful. Everything they've done for the team has just been so impactful. Just, yeah, they're one of the, especially Jerry, just one of the biggest reasons why we're here today, why we're the way we are. And yeah, just thanks to, shout out to Jerry. Now you've, you've shown a, a prime example to the Shaman Cup Boys Bay who have um, if you've got any last words you'd like to say to a few of your, your bros or, or your family members? Uh, yeah, just um, shout out to our top side for the bay, for up the bay. Come on bay. Yeah, that's what, we, um, that's what we want them to do. We want to get them up to that finals and hopefully win. Maybe do the same thing we've done. And yeah, praise the Lord. All right, Dan. Enjoy that victory with your mates, man. Congratulations. Cheers. Thank you. He's a good character. Daniel Henry. We'll hear more from him and uh, a proud family as well. What a wonderful way to conclude our coverage uh, for today. There'll be more coming up next week as well. We'll another bank of finals oh, play, and we'll be pleased to bring you oh. that action as well. Also streamed live on the Auckland Rugby League website. The technology is allowing us now to bring you this type of imagery, these pictures, but it couldn't be done without the team uh, in the world. I'd just like to acknowledge all of our uh, friends and colleagues who've been involved with that, our cameramen and sound staff, of course, uh, uh, Barbara and uh, Louise, who've been mixing things in the truck, and Tui McKendrick, who's coordinated it all. But of course, it wouldn't have happened unless Auckland Rugby League saw the merit in uh, putting live these young finals. There have been five of them. Congratulations to all the teams that have won today. But uh, thank you very much for your support with our live streaming efforts. On behalf of myself, Lewin Husband, Rusty Matua, uh, it's Dale Husband signing out from Mount Smart Stadium. Uh, in fact, uh, we're told we will stay for the presentation as well. But we'll wrap it up here from the commentary position for now. And thank you for your company and your time today. Look forward to sharing some more moments of rugby league in finals day next week as well.
Good if they're out there running hard, playing hard. When we're down, we're not out. You can count on that. Hey, let's go, boys. So just free chance for the... Oh, 
Thank you. 